Well, my friends, we've made it over to Rego Fix at the Center for Machining Excellence. And I'm with a good friend of mine who, well, I just met today, but now we're good friends. And he went over a name. Now, I would butcher the name. My German is terrible. My Deutsch is terrible as well. But Raphael knows how to say BRT correctly. But he's given me permission to say BRT today, which is going to save me a lot of embarrassment. Raphael, how do we truly say it? Actually, we have the same problem in Switzerland because, as you know, we speak German and French. So I'm French mother tongue. So I would say Brüch Rueger Tools, but in German we'll say Brüch Rueger Tools. And if I had an American accent, I would really butcher it. You've done it wonderfully in two languages. <laughs> Thank you for that. What I want to convey to you guys immediately before you go on any further is when you're learning about something new and you want to trust something, you go through trusted partners as well. And look at that list. These are trusted by my friends at BRT. Now we're going to dive into why they trust them. Raphael, you've got a product here. You're famous for 150 years in Switzerland for tooling. But you've brought a special product here to the U.S. that you believe it can really be beneficial to truly understanding a machine shop, to understanding how a factory can work and be all put together. Can we talk a little bit about this software? Yes, exactly. So the company, 150 uh, years, started uh, with, uh, with customers for machining, with tooling. And 20 years ago, we said, but these customers, they need also something else. They need software. So we started with inventory, tool management. This is our core business. And we seen that uh, step by step, the customer were asking for machine data, for quality data. And we said, but we are the best partner for that because we already work with those customers. So the uh, development roadmap of the of this solution didn't came from us came from the customer and I think that was that is one of the main point is that the functionalities that we have built into the system were only coming from real needs from the customer it's a really valuable point in my opinion Raphael because I do know some folks out there that saw a gap in the industry and felt like that gap could be filled with some technology advancements and software and understanding how it works but to come from an area where you know the stresses and the worries and the failures and what's missing in a shop maybe within your own facility or all the folks that you've worked with for so many years at this point you know what I mean and and you take all of those frustrations uh, a failure for me is the most difficult and the most rewarding way to learn because it's hard but we can't learn better than by failure and by going throughout the years and appreciating some of these failures you've developed something where everyone trusts you because you've been through the ringer as well and you're a part of that is that kind of what I'm gathering when you say this is what sets us apart this is what makes us different and this is why looking into our software could be highly beneficial because we've gone through it just like you have Yes, that's exactly the point. So we speak with the people from the shop floor, not only with the managers. We ask what are the challenges, what are the problems, what are they facing every day with some problems on the machine or on the process. And we have written this in a way that we can develop functionality into a software. Because I think this, this is one of the challenge trying to bring the software world into the, the workshop and making it, uh, I would say, usable for the shuffle guys. So I would say trying to understand it and bringing it to functionalities. Another valuable point. It's almost like you've been on camera a hundred times or had this conversation a hundred times, Raphael, because talking to the shop floor folks and not just the managers makes complete sense to me. And you mentioned something that I think is also worth noting to everyone out there is the user friendliness. We want to make sure that everyone understands. You obviously have a tool crib here behind me. We have some great software here uh, to my right. I, I see a whole platform of a hive digital suite that allows us to understand. But if we have all this information and we don't know how to actually make it work for us, does it actually work at the end of the day? And you've decided to allow it to be user friendly as well. Can we jump into some of the aspects of how someone who says, I want to give this a try, can immediately start benefiting, immediately start having their ROI, their return on investment? Yeah, I think that's a very interesting point is uh, usability. We, when we started 20 years ago with software, uh, it was a little bit the time also where everybody started to have smartphones. And now everybody know how to use smartphone. And we use exactly this way of thinking where we say it's very easy to order something on our smartphone. We want to do the same on an application for the shop floor. So doing it available, for example, on the tool crib for a user without any training, just coming, log in, 
withdraw some tools and that's it with two or three steps maximum. So the goal was really to use this uh, friendliness of smartphone application and to transfer it into application for the shop floor. Another valuable piece of insight, and I learned from my friends at Amazon, I learned from my friends at, at Facebook that somebody needs to be within three clicks before they leave a website. The same thing is very simple here. You mentioned within two, three steps, you get with the information you need and the smartphone, so valuable to, to understand. There are people who have been around a lot longer that have systems that don't quite look like a smartphone and the generation that's coming in right now to the industry well, I won't say confused or baffled by it, but they'll shy away a little bit and jump immediately to a piece of technology that might be more advanced, but looks more like a smartphone or a smart tablet because that's familiarity, yeah. right? That's exactly. So, I mean, we have to work with two worlds. We have the guys that are maybe older and that are very good at machines, but maybe not so good on computers. Those guys are still working the workshop and we have the new generation. And we have to find a way to make these both people's happy. So I think with the technology that we have and also the usability of the software, we can convince both of them because it's easy to use, but you can still access all the data that you need and all the information. So both worlds will be happy. I love that you're making everyone happy, by the way. You're making me happy as well, making my conversation so easy. Can we, if you had a, a 30 second elevator pitch or an opportunity to really highlight as we go through, I see a lot of areas. So, you know, from tool management, quality control, production analysis, uh, automatic machine correction, so on and so forth. If I'm new to this world, there are a lot of folks out there who are already adapting and maybe they'll, uh, they'll transfer over to yours and go, this is what I need in my life. I need something easier, user friendly from a company that's been around 150 years with all these trusted partners. It just makes sense. But some people are new to this still. They're just getting into it. What are two, three, four really hard hitting bullet points that you can say to people watching, this is why you should invest in this technology, specifically ours, but this technology in general to do more in your facility? I would say that uh, everyone to digitalize the, the company, the, the production, and it's not possible to do it in one big project, is a step-by-step -step initiative. And you have to find a way to use each step and to get a benefit of it. And that's how we build also the solution, is that we can start small, go big, and always have a clear roadmap. But without saying IT projects, we never want to start an IT project because we know how it will end. So we say start small, do maybe a first inventory project, managing the tools, and then going deeper into machine data, into quality management, and at the end, put all those data together, then you will have the real information. Yeah, you are amazing. Let's bring this all full circle to where we are and what we're doing. You obviously have a, a a home base here uh, at the Center for Machining Excellence and Rego Fix. So let's quickly talk about the partnership and relationship. Now, I think the obvious partnership is you're both from Switzerland. You know, Rego Fix, I spent some great time at their headquarters, amazing people. Shout out to all those folks. You're also over in that world as well. But let's talk about the relationship here in the U.S. and the rela relationship around the world with Rego Fix. Uh, for us, it was a very big chance to be part of the Center of Machining Excellence. As uh, we started, we have nothing here in the U.S. Swiss company. We know us from Switzerland, and that was a, a, a big opportunity to say, let's be part of this Center of Machining Excellence and start to do step by step, as I said, for the digitalization. The same for us to bring this product in the U.S. market through this Regofix facility. You're done. How was it? Did you do? Did you like this interview okay? Was this okay for you? Very nice. A little bit difficult with the English, but otherwise very good. Thank you so much for speaking English with me because as I mentioned, my Swiss is terrible, my German is terrible, and you're speaking better English than I am anyway, but I'm always super grateful when someone decides, hey, I'm going to jump on camera. Hey, I'm going to speak my second, third, or fourth language because I got practice to do, man. I got practice to do. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. This is my buddy, Raphael. This is the company BRT. How do we say it the right way? Bridge Rüge. Yes, exactly what he said. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.